Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. It's been a nice end of the weekend with 70s that returned and it's not going to be long before we're in the 80s across West Michigan. Some really nice weather on the way as we head throughout the next week. Something we'll have to contend with through the first couple days of the week, though, is some hazy skies and we saw that again this evening. This picture here from Bill at Pier Marquette Beach, a hazy, smoky red sunset out there thanks to those uh, wildfires up in Canada. It is going to continue for the first couple of days as we head into this week as well. Oh, of course, though, we always love to share your photos here at 13 on your side, and you can send them to me on social media, meteorologist Michael Barons on Facebook and at Mike Barons WX on Twitter and on Instagram. We're looking at temperatures today that made their way into the mid 70s for everyone except for a couple spots on the lakeshore where it was cooler thanks to the winds coming off the water. 76 Grand Rapids, 78 Fremont, and just 69 in Muskegon this afternoon on target forecast tracker told you 76 hit 76. That's a bullseye for today. Accuracy streak now at nine days in a row of just three misses in the last month of forecasting. When it comes to tomorrow, we are looking at warmer weather ahead. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in red view of the 13 weather ball, of course, sponsored by countryside greenhouse of Allendale. The temperatures as of just after 10 o'clock were hanging around still in the 60s across most of West Michigan, some 50s up toward the northern counties and along the lakeshore. 63 though, the temperature in Grand Rapids. The winds out there have largely calmed down and will stay rather calm through the next 24 hours. So expect that to allow temperatures to both drop in the overnight and get quite warm throughout the afternoon. Clear skies out there as we head through tonight will drop into the upper 40s. We'll be up close to 80 for the highs tomorrow with mostly sunny skies and light winds here across West Michigan. The day planner shows a low tonight of just 49 degrees, mostly clear and seasonable for this time of the year. Monday again up to 80, even warmer by Tuesday, still mostly sunny as temperatures push into around 83 for the afternoon high. Nothing on the radar here this evening, just that sort of moisture that pops up on clear nights across the region. There's a little bit of rain though up in the UP heading toward the Mackinac Bridge. That is the cloud cover too that's going to creep its way in for tomorrow, make us just a little bit cloudier than today, but really not by a lot. And that does bring us a small sprinkle chance, but again, really not by a lot. I would say less than 10% chance across the region. So don't expect to see any rain here. Mostly just mostly sunny skies of a few clouds that come through. Cloud cover will be a little bit thicker toward US 10. That's where the best chance for a sprinkle will be as we head throughout the day on Monday. But all that cloud cover really starts to go back down as we head into Monday night. Mostly clear skies out there will stay mostly sunny as we head through Tuesday. Again, a few clouds that pop up through the afternoon. Our next best chance for rain comes in as we head into Wednesday, but again, this is a very low end risk. Cloud cover drops through West Michigan as we head into Wednesday, turning us partly to at times mostly cloudy. A few showers may push through the region with those clouds, but they're gone as we head toward Wednesday night. and We'll end the week and head into next weekend with more quiet weather. The forecast for your Monday hazy and mostly sunny with temperatures in the 70s along the lake shore. We'll see away from the water more mid to upper 70s. Those temperatures will get close to the 80s, if not into the 80s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Temperatures creep up to 83 before that front drops through on Wednesday. It's going to be a big drop in temperatures that comes with it. We'll fall to 66 degrees for a high Wednesday, 65 Thursday. But then we start to make our way back up the ladder as we head toward the Memorial Day holiday. Temperatures will be up to 84 for Memorial Day. Briefly back to the 70s with some rain chances on day nine of the forecast. With all the warm weather, getting out and mowing the lawn is back on the chore list for many in West Michigan, but not for everyone. A trend called No Mow May popped up recently, and meteorologist Ross Caruso from our sister station 10TV in Columbus, Ohio, reports on if this trend is actually helping or hurting our lawns. It's that time of the year. As temperatures continue to warm, our yards will continue to grow, which means more time maintaining our lawns. But some are taking a break from the lawn care this month to participate in what's called No Mow May. No Mow May thing had a really good intention, has good objectives, but the execution doesn't work very well. 
The idea of no mow May is that if you let your lawn grow throughout the month, it saves you money, water, cuts down on noise and air pollution, but more importantly, helps pollinators like bees by giving them extra food and shelter early in the season. OSU Extension educator Mike Hogan says he has mixed emotions about the movement. In central Ohio, it's really difficult to manage um, turf without uh, mowing it for a whole month in May and then expect that turf to return in June and subsequent months. Hogan says rather than letting your grass grow wild, try planting native plants and flowers in your green space to help the pollinators. Natives, non-grass species like clover, white clover here, um, even you could plant viola seed if you wanted, um, and because then you could maintain the lawn, you'd have some desirable grasses. And if you want to leave your lawn green, there are other options out there to help the pollinators. Spaces for pollinator plants, they don't have to be large when we think about, you know, a whole uh, a residential lawn. They could be small, as small as containers. If someone just has a very small patio space or a very small yard, uh, a few containers with perennial flowering plants um, that pollinators feed on. Pollinators play a very important role in our lives, more than what most people think. Three out of every four bites of food we eat were pollinated by uh, not natural pollination, by some sort of insect uh, or animal, okay? Um, so if, you, if we didn't have bees and other pollinators, you went to the produce section in the grocery store, three out of every four items would be missing. Reporting for 10 TV News, I'm Dopper 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso. Now to the travel outlook with the unofficial start of the summer vacation season a week away. Memorial Day air travel is likely to pass pre pandemic levels. ABC News's Jason Lee reports from LaGuardia Airport with more. Airports around the country are bracing for a blockbuster Memorial Day weekend with AAA reporting it's expected to be the third busiest since the year 2000. When you look at travel numbers through the first four months of 2023, they're actually higher than they were pre-pandemic. AAA expects nearly 3.4 million people to take to the skies over the holiday, up 11% from last year. This is going to be a huge amount of pressure on the system, the way that the demand has come back. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg says the FAA is still working to hire more air traffic controllers to keep up with demand. He says airlines are now being held accountable for staffing shortages and lack of preparation in the event of bad weather. The airlines to establish more realistic schedules and actively supporting that. But there is a question of whether or there's always a question of whether airlines are properly aligning their schedules that they're promising with their resources and the staffing that they bring to the table, including enough of a buffer to deal with situations that may come up. Major airlines like United say they're gearing up for their busiest Memorial Day in over a decade, adding they're expecting more than half a million customers to fly United Friday alone. And finally tonight, check this out. A youth baseball pyre, umpire, well, knew exactly what to do during this bizarre incident. A dust devil forming at home plate during a game in Jacksonville, Florida. The catcher was caught in the middle. The teen umpire acted quickly, pulling him out, earning thank yous from parents in the crowds. After getting some water splashed in his eyes, the catcher did manage to finish the game. How crazy is that to see the dust devil kind of just form exactly where you're standing? I can't say that I've had a similar experience. Now that you've been updated on the latest news and weather here across West Michigan and the country, you can always find more at 13inyourside.com slash weather or by downloading 13 your side news and weather apps. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.